This is a scenario about Earth that you've never thought of. What if, in the past, this was the entirety of the Earth? Where the entire surface of the planet was nothing but water, and looked like this? I bet you are asking yourself the most obvious question, which is, so where did all the water come from in the first place? Given that all the moons and planets in the solar system are either entirely covered in ice and water, or completely devoid of any water on their surface, such that several of the moons of both Saturn and Jupiter have entire outer layers that are miles deep of water, much like Neptune, and yet the Earth's moon, which is bigger than those moons and filled with millions of impact craters, seem to be absolutely devoid of any sign of ever possessing water. One thing's for certain is that NASA lied when they stated that comets and asteroids brought water to all the planets and moons in the solar system. This clearly means that each planet or moon that possessed water actively produced its own water in the past, and all objects that are devoid of water was unable to initiate any such similar geochemical or geophysical mechanism. That's the only way that a moon that is positioned right next to the Earth would lack the abundance seen on the Earth's surface. The internal entropic mechanisms of the planet is responsible for producing all the water that's now on the Earth's surface. This is why the isotopic signature of Earth's water matches no other source of water in the solar system. The very first form of biological life on Earth was created and forged inside the planet's deepest interior and released to its surface in plumes, just like magma, just like hydrocarbons, and just like water and atmospheric gases. It's about the internal geochemical mechanisms and the core of a planet being able to forge water, organic chemicals and life from inorganic chemical elements and their isotopes, and releasing them all to the planet's surface. Which was the real reason why biological life on this planet started out as aquatic, because Earth existed for a few billion years as an entirely water world.